We are back with the video you may have seen on the Today Show this morning. The new Corvette hybrid doing donuts on the ice in front of 30 Rock in New York City. Chevrolet officially unveiling it today and announcing that it will be available later this year. Tonight we're learning about the local connection to the newest version of this iconic sports car. Two on your sides, Ron Plants joins us now to explain about this very new car, kind of what we should know about it, but also, Ron, the fact that you have these local workers who are going to be playing mm -hmm. a big part in manufacturing it for people who can buy it, who apparently have a lot of money because it does not come on the cheap. Oh, yeah. Michael, <laughs> maybe you could. I don't know. It does run $104,000 for the base model, but the Corvette E-Ray follows that proud 70-year tradition which Chevy has with the Corvette. And yeah, as you pointed out, they really promoted it this morning on the Today Show. The Corvette E-Ray, actually the only hybrid in the GM fleet now, as GM GM seeks to go totally electric, but they decided to make this unique hybrid all wheel drive sports car with a blend of a small block V8 gas engine powering the back of the car and an electric motor used in tandem that's going to power the front wheels. And right there you saw that GM powertrain sign that 6.2 liter V8 engine made exclusively by the GM powertrain plant in Tonawanda, which currently employs about a thousand people, 850 members of the United Auto Workers Local 774 specifically specifically working on car power plants like this powerful engine, a lot of performance. Here's an excerpt of a GM video interview with the chief Corvette designer. That all wheel drive, that torque capacity and capability come with some blistering performance. So it also happens to be the quickest Corvette ever. Zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds and a quarter mile in 10.5 seconds. So it's got some outstanding performance. We've got all weather capability with the front drive axle. Sounds like Wooten getting out of the parking lot. And while you probably don't want to go that fast in a snowstorm, again, this is an all-wheel drive vehicle, which they say they've tested in snow and other slick surfaces. So if you got, again, an extra 104 grand sitting around burning a hole in your wallet, consider this instead of that old boring all-wheel drive SUV that most of us drive, Michael. Not great clearance when you look at how no, the car no, sits. No, snow drifts, I don't um, know. You were also saying, though, Ron, you focused on Tonawanda there, and for good reason, but mm -hmm. you called this a threefer for local workers when it comes to this car. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> yeah, the V8 gas engine, again, that's made in Tonawanda, where GM has invested hundreds of millions of dollars. But GM Lockport, up there, yeah, the old Harrison radiator in Delphi and Niagara County, they make the radiators and condensers to cool the engine. And GM Rochester, out there to the east, they make what are called integrated air modules for the engine. So there you go. And then this uh, statement from the local union. Yeah, yeah, the, I'm sorry, the UAW local 774 union president wants a balance in the thirds as the workers proud to be involved, looking forward to being a big part of General Motors future for many years to come, even with all that EV electric vehicle talk from GM, Michael. Good news, and it is a nice looking car. Just it is. An expensive one. You're going to get one, I can uh, tell. Not anytime soon. Thank you, Ron.